Prince Charles is the world's longest waiting future monarch but according to a social psychologist the Republicans within us don't want Charles as king. There will come a time when Queen Elizabeth II is longer with us and her son, Prince Charles, will become the King of England. Queen Elizabeth has been the monarch since 1952 and when the time comes, Charles will be ready to take over the role. However, a documentary has questioned if Charles should ever get the job and suggests that the Queen will be the last positive outcome for the British monarchy. Speaking in the YouTube documentary The Madness of Prince Charles the late Peter Marsh, a professor in social psychology at the University of Oxford said, when the Queen dies, I think that will be the point when there will be an increased consensus that the monarchy in this country has outlived any positive function that it might once have been perceived as having. I think at that stage, you know this sort of Republicans within us to think well the Queen was OK but we're not having Charles. A 2019 survey showed that almost half of the British public want Prince Charles to stand aside and let his eldest son William become the next king. The survey by BMG Research on behalf of the Independent found that 46 percent of Britons want the first in line to the throne to abdicate immediately to allow the Duke of Cambridge to take over. A further 27 percent of those polled showed strong support for directly passing the crown to William. Though Charles' reputation has certainly improved since the failure of his marriage to Princess Diana, biographies on the Prince of Wales have pulled few punches. Author Tom Dower wrote of a petulant and jealous man in his unauthorized 2018 biography on Charles, titled Rebel Prince. While royal biographer Sally Bedell Smith was careful to highlight in 2017 Charles' warmth in Prince Charles, the passions and paradoxes of an improbable life, although even she conceded he was, at times, hopelessly thin-skinned, naive and resentful. A leading human rights lawyer raised the issue of whether we even need a monarchy at all. David Hay told the Irish Times in 2018. When you talk to people rationally about whether the monarchy makes sense, should we have a monarchy or a republic, should we allow these hereditary people to have a say in the running of the country, when people are talking with their heads, they usually say, no not really. But I think emotionally people act in a different way. They think, oh it's very nice isn't it, it's a great traditional thing and aren't they nice people, a bit like EastEnders. And then the heart kicks in. According to the Irish Times article, it is the Queen who remains the linchpin of the monarchy.